probably the best known, the best studied self-reinforcing feedback loop is the one Paul Beckwith studies, and that's um, methane coming out of the Arctic Ocean. So methane has been bubbling out of the Arctic Ocean. That was reported in August of 2009 in geophysical research letters that there were 250, about 250 plumes of methane hydrates escaping from the shallow Arctic seabed. And that was likely a result of a 1C rise in temperature regionally. So it doesn't take much of a rise regionally that is in the Arctic to cause the hydrates or class rates to start coming out of the ocean. And that's because those hydrates or clathrates, those are synonyms, and, and those are chemical cages. The clathrates are, are chemical cages around CH4 molecules or methane molecules. And it doesn't take much to, to warm them enough to release the methane out of the hydrate because they're at relatively shallow depths in the Arctic Ocean. As shallow is about 50 meters and perhaps all the way down to... 700 meters or so. Because of um, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, we have greatly warmed the planet, including at depths in the ocean down to 2,000 meters. So it should be no surprise that we've warmed sufficiently in the Arctic to cause the class rates to start bubbling out of the Arctic Ocean. There's been a bunch of research done at this point on the methane coming out of the Arctic Ocean, including NASA's CARVE project, which in mid-July of 2013, mid-July of last year, reported several plumes up to 150 kilometers across. According to uh, Natalia Shikova, also that same month, July 2013, um, she did an interview with Nick Breeze and reported really, really high levels of methane coming out of the Arctic Ocean in a wide variety of places. And so that's the, that's the best studied and probably the most worrisome of the self-reinforcing feedback loops is methane coming out of the Arctic Ocean. And when we look at atmospheric levels of methane for the whole planet, it's pretty clear that they've gone exponential since about 2007, almost certainly as a result of that methane coming out of the Arctic Ocean, which is the really sensitive, um, worrisome place in terms of methane.